there will be times more tougher than what you're presently dealing with. Uh, now, before we go into announcements of baptisms and events, I want to address all the first churches of our Lord Jesus Christ throughout all of Europe, all of Germany, <clears throat> all of the United Kingdom, Ireland, Scotland, um, you that are in Amsterdam and the various locations of where I was scheduled to be uh, in the month of June. Uh, we decided to delay that trip, and that was out of our control. My second oldest daughter was in a very, very uh, bad car accident early in last week, and she was banged up pretty bad. And Thank God there was no broken bones. But they were bruised and uh, one time had problems breathing and whatnot. So we got there. She was already in the ambulance and went to the hospital, got x rays. And so her vehicle was totaled. Uh, God bless her to make it out alive, which is a blessing. <laughs> so to all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ, this is why I delayed my trip. I postponed it because I want to make sure everything on the home front is right before I leave the country because my stay out the country would have been extensive. And it is necessary that I make sure everything and everybody is all right at home. And I'm pretty sure, sure you that are watching, you, you understand. And if you don't understand, then you consider what I say. It is not that difficult. <laughs> and God will give you the understanding. Uh, she called me probably a few seconds after it happened, very historical. I didn't know what was going on. I was on the job site and I dropped what I was doing and took off and she wasn't that far from the house. When I got there, and she was in the ambulance and neck brace and all of that stuff and whatnot. And before then, as you know, Elder Jennings had a stroke while he was ministering last Sunday. Well, he was closing out ministry, and his right side of his face began to droop, and he began to slob, and he didn't even know it. He didn't even feel it. It was the brothers that noticed it and went up in the pulpit and got him and rushed him to the hospital and called me uh, when they got him there. So... We've been back and forth with him. He's doing a lot better. I told him, just let's take it easy. I told him, don't be ministering none this week. You just relax and rest. And when it's time to minister, minister short. Slowly work your way back into it. Told them, I don't care how good you feel. His blood pressure was 200 and something, over 100 and something. So, uh, he said he's doing a lot better. So, to all the churches in Europe, Brother Ray, is he here? Brother Ray is not in? All right. So to all the churches of Europe, uh, we're going to reschedule you for the fall, God willing. So the Netherlands, Amsterdam, Holland, Birmingham, England, South London, North London, Germany, and all the other locations, Italy, God willing, I'm looking to be in your area in the fall. That gives me 
more time to, to make sure everything is done correctly. And then I can say like the Apostle Paul, now all things are made ready. Now to you that are in Africa, because I have to move my European tour, Africa, I was scheduled for a 10 country tour. I'm going to have to move that because it calls me to move Europe. And where I have in mind to move my European tour is the same month I was going to go to Africa. So to my traveling staff, Sister Lorraine and Brother Ray, my overseas secretary, I want to meet with you today. If Brother Ray is not here, then we'll meet later on this afternoon. So Africa, we are rescheduled you to all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ of the South Pacific region of the world. That is Australia, New Guinea, New Zealand, Philippines, Malaysia, Fiji Islands, Crook Islands, Tonga Islands, Samoan Islands, Solomon Islands. For you that don't know where these are, these are all out there near Japan and China. We have a tour for that also. So this is a very busy year for us. But because of the Lord and his ability to catch men, and women, as a result of his word, the word of God is far spreading. Uh, hundreds upon hundreds that have turned into thousands now. Are going down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. My secretary contacted me last week, Sister Rollins. She said, I just want to update you quickly. The hotel where the convention is going to be held is already book everybody all the rooms are gone and I got three more hotels and all three of those hotels are gone and it's all right. it's all right. I had to get a fourth hotel and folks are ready right. it's gonna be quite a bit of thousands there in July and I want to say to all of my viewers you don't want to miss the International Holy Convocation in July so to all the churches in Europe because I won't be there in June <coughs> I hope to see you in July. Make it here Amen. in America to our international holy convocation because international mean that. It's not confined just here to America, but to all the churches, the truth of God temples around the world. And uh, we do hope to see all of you. God be our helper. And we will have full usage of the convention center. We had a quarter of the usage when we was there in the youth conference. That part of the room helped from two to 3,000, but we will have full usage. That way, all the space will hold up to 5,000 and more. We came a long way from 12 to 15 people. And we have a lot more building and expanding to do. It's a lot of work saving souls. A lot of hard work. And um, we thank God for the progress of it. All right. Uh, to you that are watching, we have some locations for baptisms in Toledo, Ohio at 730 Fernwood Avenue in Toledo, Ohio. Pay attention, viewers, that are in Toledo, Ohio, June 4th, Saturday at 12 noon. Baptisms will be taking place in Toledo, Ohio, 730 Fern Avenue, it's Fernwood Avenue. 730 Fernwood Avenue in Toledo, Ohio. You contact, this is the contact number, 
313-364-9385. Now, you that gave me this, please make sure this is posted. Anything you give me that have, that's reference to baptisms, it must be available on the church website so the people can go right on and log on and pull it up. So to you that are watching, if you miss these announcements, go to our Truth to God website so you can pull this information up and repent of your devilment. All of you that's in Toledo, Ohio and nearby, and go down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's June 4th at 12 noon, 730 Fernwood Avenue. Also, Indianapolis, Indiana at June 10th, Friday, from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., at the Comfort Suite Southport, 4125 Kildare Drive in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm pretty sure there will be baptisms taking place there in Indianapolis, Indiana, Comfort Suite Southport, 4125 Kildare Drive, Indianapolis, Indiana. Same number, 313-364-9385. You get a chance to uh, be there. Or you can pull up our um, website. This is covering the Midwestern area. Midwest baptisms at fcooljc.org. Midwest baptisms at fcooljc.org to get all the Midwestern areas information. June 11th, Columbus, Ohio. At 1 p.m. at uh, Christ Community Church, 2249 East 5th Avenue, Columbus, Ohio. At Saturday, June 11th, Columbus, Ohio. Don't you miss it. You come get your sins washed away. Leave your church. Yes. In fact, tell your pastor to come and use his preaching robe for baptism clothing. Amen. Let them stand around and wet with the water dripping off of them. Glory to God. June 11th, Amarillo, Texas, 343 East Hastings Avenue, Amarillo, Texas. That's June 11th, Saturday from 11 to 3 p.m. They are asking you to bring your baptism clothes. You do that. Bring your baptism clothes to the uh, baptism that's taking place there. Now, the phone number, the contact number that can reach them for Amarillo, Texas is 832-559-0479. 832-559-0479. That's 343 East Hastings Avenue in Amarillo, Texas, June 11th. Also, overseas, June 11th, Saturday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. in India and Karipa Adrin Pradesh, baptisms only. They're asking you to bring your clothes, you that are in India. Now you can reach Bishop Abraham Samuel, you that are in uh, Pradesh, 0091 Back in America, Louisville, Kentucky, yeah. June 17th, 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Comfort Suites Airport, 6535 Paramount Park Drive, Louisville, Kentucky. That's the Comfort Suites Inn Airport, 6535 Paramount Park Drive, Louisville, Kentucky, June 17th. Number for information, 313-364-9385. Omaha, Nebraska, uh -huh. June 17th, 
7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. You that want to be baptized in Omaha, Nebraska, come to the Cambria Hotel downtown, 740 North 14th Street. 740 North 14th Street, Omaha, Nebraska, at the Cambria Hotel downtown, June 17th, because on a Friday at 7 p.m., 8.30 p.m. That contact number is the same, 313-364-9385. Richmond, Virginia, June 18th which is on a Saturday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Richmond at the Four Points by Sheraton o Hotel 4700 South Laburnum Avenue. 4700 South Laburnum Avenue, Richmond, Virginia. Baptism will take place. Uh, you can contact Minister Lodge at 984-800-4938. San Antonio, Texas. I'm glad to see these brothers working. Yes, right. San Antonio, Texas. June 19th. Sunday evening from 6 p.m., to 9 p.m. Best Westerns Rolling In. 333 Rolling Road, San Antonio, Texas. Best Western Rolling In. 333 Rolling Road, San Antonio, Texas, June 19th, 6 p.m., 9 to 9 p.m. Contact number 832-559-0479. Now, to my staff, make sure this is posted. Always have this information posted before you give it to me. Have it posted first, give it to me second. All right, let's get our weekly report for baptisms. Eight in headquarters, two in New Brunswick, New Jersey, three in Bronx, New York, five in Baltimore, one in Rocky Mount, two in Florence, South Carolina, one in Columbia, South Carolina, four in uh, Newport News, seven in Atlanta, two in Memphis, two in Milwaukee, three in Houston, Texas, 14 in Dallas, one in Sacramento, three in Los Angeles, seven in Jackson, Mississippi, international baptisms, three in Toronto, Canada, 19 Fiji Islands, three in Durban, South Africa, Two in Ghana, seven in Jamaica, seven in Trinidad, 13 in Trinidad, Tobago, bringing us to 119 for that week. <clears throat> so we are again thanking God much for the consistency of the Lord. Amen. This is the Lord's consistency. He's not slack concerning his promise. In fact, he's not slack concerning nothing. I'm glad to see Dan DeMann Stasiak here. We thank God to see him present. As I mentioned to the church, he had to have eye surgery and emails been coming in and folks been commenting. We don't see Dan. Even my haters was commenting. One false prophet said, I don't see Dan. He came to his senses and left Pastor Jennings. <laughs> so we thank God for blessing him to be present. I was thinking about his wife yesterday, Sister Debbie Thompson. I remember she said to me some time ago, she said, you know, Pastor Jennings, I had a dream that the work got so large that she had a mail room and they was bringing bags of mail. Bags of mail because of the gospel that is being preached. Do you know we're practically there now? We're practically there now of the thousands and thousands and thousands of letters. 
constantly pouring in. This is every single day in the year, several times a day. From all around the world, from hungry people. We're living in a critical times, spiritually speaking. Remember the families there, I believe it was in Texas? And before Texas shooting, it was another part of the country. In Buffalo, New York. You know, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, friends and enemies, if you expect things to get better, it won't. What if God says evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived? The only thing that's reliable all the time is God. And what the Lord said will come to pass. The senseless killings that is taking place. The amount of homicides right here in Philadelphia alone. Children are killing each other, have no regard for life. Driving by, just shooting, a woman can be out pushing a shopping cart, minding her business. In a few seconds, she laying in a pool of blood. Two innocent little girls can be playing double dutch or sitting on their steps playing with their doll babies. Next few minutes, the mother going to be at the morgue. Father can be leaving off work after leaving a long day task working because he loved his family. Never make it home. Wife get a call. Got to come identify this body. This is the time we're in we live in. And all the sickness and chaos and madness is in the world. And yet the devil still send men. To trick the human family into believing this is heaven. This is not heaven. Let me show you this world, 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, if you will. 2 Corinthians, chapter 4. Begin at verse 3. And we're at verse 3. All right, follow me. 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, and verse 3. Yes. But if our gospel be hid. If our gospel. Amen. Glory to God be hid. It is hid, it is hid to, to them, them that are lost. If you can't see. What the apostles preach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Bible is showing you the stage that you're in right now. It is hid to them that are lost. If you can't see the teaching of Jesus that he gave his apostles. If you can't see it. You're in a lost stage. Religion. Politicians. Yes, yes. Sinners. Millionaires. Poor folk. Bond or free. And this is the reason why you can't see it. In whom the God of this world. What? In whom the God of this world. Not the God of heaven. No. But the God of this world, the God of this domain. Hath, what did he do, Williams? Hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Ah, oh, that's the reason why you can't see it, because you don't believe it, and your unbelief gives the devil freedom to blind you. That's right. Blind the minds of them that believe not, lest... The light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ should... Who, who is the image of God. God image. Should shine unto them. Glory to God. That's it. The God of this world. God of this world. Have blinded the unbeliever. That's right. And you take anybody that's blind, I want you to hear me good. It is in them, him or her, to fight. Yeah. Rebel. That's right. Show intense hatred. That's right. Towards scripture because they're blind to it. They don't understand it. And when they don't understand it, right away they become defensive. Yes. 
And when they are defensive, they feel as though you're picking on them. That's true. I ain't never met no robber who was caught by a cop. Told him, told him, man, I'm glad you caught me. That's right. And then hugged him. Hmm. No, he run, duck, dodge. Yeah. That's the way the sinner is about God. That's yeah. right. The difference is the cop got to chase you. You may outrun him. Hey man, I've seen on the news where <laughs> I remember I was watching one news report. You know, when I came up, cops had to be in shape. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, boy, that's, where, that's where it was when I was a child. When I was a child, cops had to be in shape, brother. And when you go running, jumping over a fence, they was right behind you. <laughs> so I was watching. It was funny. I think I was, we was in the kitchen. And uh, we was watching the telecast on YouTube. And you know how they have things on the side. And they had on the side how uh, robber outrun policemen. <laughs> so I wanted to see what it was. It was about three or four or five policemen. And it was one guy. And he was moving, you know, running. You know, we played football in the hood. And you know, when you get that ball, you fake him out. And you shake him off. This one guy shook off five policemen. I mean, you ever see you ever seen a ball game when a fella's dribbling and he shake his opponent off so well the opponent fall. Yeah. Brother, you fall, you saw blue uniforms tripping, stumbling, and falling, and the guy wasn't running fast. <laughs> and when he got away, he just ran and turned around and looked and laughed. <laughs> they was out of shape. Out of shape. <laughs> well, you may do that. To the policeman. Right. But you will never be able to dodge God. That's right. Eh? That's right. So whenever the human family hear us speak against sin, That's right. you become defensive, yet in your heart you know you're being told the truth. That's right. So why is it you become so defensive and offended? Offended. It is only because you're not ready yeah. to get right, yet you know you need to get right. That's right. You know, you know, folk don't like to be told about their wrong. No. No, I mean, just go back and look at when we were children. We know we've done things wrong. <laughs> Who here wanted to get caught? Raise your hand. Well, we all in the greens. That's right. Ain't nobody wanted to get caught. No. Sometime when your mother and father was coming and you had something in your hand that you shouldn't have had, you threw that thing under the pillow, under the bed. They told you not to get that candy. You threw it in your mouth. That's true. Because you were young and naive. That's right. Forgot to realize when you had it in your mouth, it brought about a certain facial expression. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Mama said, what's that you got in your mouth? And you look right at her. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What's that in your mouth? Mm-mm. <laughs> That's right. You got caught. I got caught. Now, viewers, and you that are here, the time wherein we live, it's a time called grace. grace. In the third chapter of the book of Ephesians, of Ephesians, the apostle Paul said, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, follow me and get me. In Ephesians chapter 3 and we're at verse 1. Says what? For this cause, I, Paul, the For prisoner. For this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ. Hold it. Paul wasn't always a prisoner of Jesus. One time he was a prisoner of Satan. That's right. Now I'm pretty sure many that are here and that are watching can identify with this. That's right. If you ever been in jail, naturally, mm -hmm. you get a number. Never mind if your name, what they call you in the hood. Mm -hmm. 
to the prism system, you're 523666. That's right. Or I can call you, Mr. 523666. You can go to the warden and say, look, where I'm from, they call me Slim. 532666. That's right. In other words, they're stripping you of your self-identity. Yeah. Are you getting me? And you're just a number. You put on the uniform that that prison system demands. That's right. You go in your cell when they said so. You allow X amount of time in the shower. And it may not be every day. That's true. You allow X amount of time in the yard. And you have to follow orders. Oh, yes. Or your sentence can be extended and your stay can become more unpleasant. That's right. They say you get out on good behavior. That's what they say. <laughs> when you are paroled, depending upon how long you were in, if you're in there 20, 30, 40, 50 years, now you have to deal with being institutionalized. That's yeah. right. Being institutionalized is the reformation of your mind. That's right. You're no longer an outside thinker. You're an inside thinker. That's right. And when you're physically let out, your mind is still in. And for some, it is hard for them to adapt to the outside world. Because now the prison that they resented, now they depend on it. That's right. And don't know how to survive in the free world. As a result of such, some deliberately commit a crime. It could be something small. Just so they can go back. That's right. Because they're more comfortable there. Are you listening? That's right. Yes. We have became comfortable. We have become institutionalized from sin. That's right. In other words, the bondage that Satan have you in mentally, emotionally, and physically. Because what the mind thinks, what the heart feels, the body displays in this behavior. That's right. Are right, you listening to the old man? That's right. So the murderers and rapers and extortioners and liars and thieves, commandment breakers, yeah. are inmates of Satan. That's right. That's true. The word of God is here to parole you. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. God wants to undo everything. Hear me good. What the devil have done to us. That's right. All of us are mental, emotional, physical, spiritual victims. That's right. Of Satan's deception. Amen. Somewhere in our life. Oh, yes. All of us were Satan prisoners. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Inmates in captivity. Mine was in bondage. That's why you only thought foolishness. Foolishness. Because your mind was in bondage. That's right. And when the righteous intelligence of God was brought to you, because our foolish mind exempted foolish behavior, yeah. what did we do when we brought when God's thoughts and God's intents and God's mind was brought to us, yeah. we rebelled. That's right. That's right. Why did we rebel? Give me Isaiah quickly. Isaiah. This is why we rebelled. Because our thoughts is not like God's that's, thoughts. That's right. Our mind, hear me, is not like God's mind. That's right. God's mind is infallible. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's right. Flawless. Flawless. Yes. No error. Sure. He have no shortcomings. That's right. 
No darkness in him at all. At all. No sin. No instability. That's right. God mind. The God's mind is the true definition of what clean is. Yes. That's right. Are you listening? In Isaiah 55 and at verse 8. Follow me, you that are here, you that are watching. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. All right. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. God talking here. Amen. You sinner, God don't think like you. No. And when God send a preacher, he don't sound like you. That's right. You don't sound like none of the preachers that's out here. No. When God sent one. No. The devil preachers all sound the same. That's right. Because they got the devil's motives and they got the devil objective. That's why if you turn your television on, the preachers will say the same thing. Money, 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 prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. Yeah. Touch it and claim it. That's the Satan's inmates. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Satan's Inmates. That's right. Are you listening? For my thoughts are not your thoughts. God said, I don't think like them. That's why God Wonderful. gotta make a preacher Wonderful. who don't think like the world. That's right. Come on. But Hallelujah. even when God sent a preacher, he got to stay in God counsel. That's right. If he don't stay in God counsel, he also his mind will start slipping. That's right. Who would take God to the world? But if they had stood in my hand. Ah! Him in the book of Jeremiah, Jer I believe. Jeremiah chapter 23. We'll start at verse 21. Listen. I have not sent these prophets. Ah. Hallelujah. Ah, 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 ah. Hallelujah. I haven't sent these messengers. Yet they ran. What? Yet they ran. You see these men all out here filling pulpits, churches, and. Little churches, big churches, mega churches, That's meeting right. in their home, having podcasts, sitting on the side of their tubs. <laughs> That's right. Thank God, man, they broadcast in all kind of places. Amen. But the Lord said, I have not sent these prophets. Many of you go to church on Sunday just because it is Sunday. It is Sunday. Or you go to church on Saturday just because it is Saturday. Right. And yet in your heart, you're not ready to make a change. That's right. You're not ready to break off your sins. That's right. You're not ready to even make an attempt to come up to the requirements that God have. You That's know, one scripture says, what do the Lord require, require, of, require thee? of thee? What did he say? I have not sent these prophets. But what? Yet they ran. Oh, they're running too. Oh, yes. They're running. They're, I have not spoken to them. What? I have not spoken to them. So viewers... Give chapter and verse again. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 21. When these men come to you with these Houdini prophecies. Yeah. Houdini. And these Houdini visions. That's right. That's men right. that get up and prophesy in this robotic tone voice. That's right. Like it's Siri. Siri. Come on, Jerry. <laughs> come on, boy. We was in the kitchen one day and... Yeah. And uh, Ernie, my son, he reminded me so much of my uh, brother Rick. Wonderful. He cut up all the time. Wonderful. He said, Dad, I want you to hear something. Yeah. <laughs> I said, what is you up to now? He said, Siri, speak in tongue. <laughs> I, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> and he, 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 he was on his phone. And that robot said, speaking in tongues. I was like, what? I had to do like Logan. Come on. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. My Lord. <laughs> I didn't think such a thing. <laughs> yeah, you understand. My Lord. Well, even Siri is a hypocrite. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. That's right. But just that simple. He spoke to Siri and Siri responded. That, do you know that type of action go on yeah. in the false churches? That's right. The preachers will tell you when I count to three, speak in tongue. One, two, three, and everybody gets started. Let the all on Bob Evans down at the farm. That's right. Like a group of turkeys. That's right. God says, I have not, sent, I have these not prophets, sent these prophets, yet they ran. Yet they're running. I have not spoken to them. I didn't talk to them. Yet they prophesied. Now, this is scary. Yes, yeah. it is. 
This is why being scripturally educated is important. That's right. The Lord said, I haven't spoken to them yet. Yet they prophesy. Yet they are talking. That's right. This is why being scripturally informed, yeah. scripturally updated, yeah. scripturally taught, taught. So you can recognize what is God, what is not. That's right. Because people in the church, choirs are jumping, robes are swaying, that don't mean God is in that house. No, no. The foundation of truth is God. That's right. And even Satan tells truth and lie. And lie. Listen. But if they... I have not sent these prophets, yet they reign. Yet they reign. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesy. But what? But if they had stood in my counsel. God say if they have stood. In my counsel. Not just in and out. Yeah. Th th that's right. Stay in it. Stay in it. Wonderful. Stay God in it. want this preacher take his counsel, that's take right. his advice, take his instructions. That's right. If they have stood in, in my, my counsel. counsel, if they have stood in God's word, that's why nobody won't get us out of it. That's right. That's right. Man. That's right. Lord, it take God. Nobody. Nobody. Oh, they trying too, brother. They trying. Preachers have tried through the years and some have just gave up. Amen. I was looking at a comment one man made on the message last week. He said, this has to be the most sickening man I have ever watched. <laughs> and yet he keep watching. <laughs> Amen. Why? Because this message is the only message over any form of media yeah. that make man back up. That's yeah. right. You know, from the hood, you have a lot of men that sell wolf tickets. That's right. But there's somebody in your hood that can make you back up. That's right. This message make you back up. Oh, yes. Make you think deeper than you ever thought before. That's right. Make you think about life. And also make you think about death. That's right. Make you realize that there is a God even if you're an atheist. Amen. Make you understand that it has to come a time in your life, yeah. sometime, yeah. that you're going to have to put that bottle down. That's right. You're going to have to change your lifestyle. That's right. That's right. You're going to have to stop living like you's a barbarian. Oh, yes. Shooting and killing and raping and stealing. Yeah. And what do you get out of it? That's right. But prison. That's it. And then when you go to prison, you want to blame some white man for putting you in there. That's right. The white man is in there just like the black man. That's right. That's right. What got you in prison? You in. Sin. Oh, yes. What keep you in prison? Sin. Sin. That's right. That's the truth of it. That's right. Not a black man. Not a white man. No. Sin. Oh, yes. Are you getting what I'm telling you? I have not sent these prophets yet they reign. I have not sent these messengers yet they reign. And they all out here by the number. I thank God for the truth of God. Yeah. Wonderful. And the force. Driving force that's behind it. That's right. Kicking down doors. Kicking down. Glory to God, I say it's kicking down doors. Oh, yes. Driving force. Oh, yes. That's behind it. That's right. State to state, city to city, village to village, country to country. Yeah. Stand in God's counsel. That's right. And when you stand in God's counsel, what would you do? And have caused my people. Have called my people. My people. To hear my words. That's all I'm interested in. That's it. Is to get the world to hear God's words. God's words. That's and it. this is what God promised. Then they should have turned them. Oh, yes. From their evil way. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> On one broadcast, I was commenting how. We have ex-drug dealers and drug lords and ex-thugs and ex-prostitutes and <laughs> ex-murderers, oh, yeah. ex-rapists, oh, yeah. all that in the church. All that. So one man commented and said, if all that is in the church, there's no need for me to go to church. Really? Really? Jesus said, come unto me. That's right. That's right. Jesus wants everything to come to him. That's right. 
Eh? No, ye not. No, ye not. That, that the unrighteous shall not inherit that the, the kingdom of God. Shall not inherit God's kingdom. Be not deceived. Don't be tricked. Neither fornicators. Neither fornicators. Nor idolaters. Idolaters. Nor adulterers. Adulterous. Nor effeminate. Yes. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Yes. Nor thieves. Nor covetous. Nor drunkards. Nor revilers. Nor extortioners uh -huh. shall inherit the kingdom of God. But what? And such were some of you. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you bear in mind, Pastor Paul was preaching to the church. That's right. You better give chapter and verse for this. First Corinthians chapter 6. So uh, it makes me feel good yeah. when I'm able to say the same thing. That's right. We have ex-murderers, ex-thieves, ex-extortioners, ex-lesbians, ex-homosexual. We have all that. That's right. That's true. That's right. Right in church. Right in church. Now let's get Bible for it. First Corinthians chapter 6, we'll start at verse 9. Ex-blue collar criminals. Amen. Ex-white collar criminals. That's right. Ex-no collar criminals. <laughs> Amen. And we got some criminals that still come, and I'm working on working their on criminal them. behavior. That's right. Or they God, I haven't put my nightstick down. Wonderful. I'm going to keep my nightstick oh, yeah. here. That's right. And then I sleep with it. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That way if I get a call, I wake up. Hello, I got my nightstick. Yes, you do. I got the word of God handed ready to work on you. That's the truth. Go and be to God. What did he say? First Corinthians chapter 6, we're at verse 9. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 6, we'll start at verse 9. Listen. Know ye not. Don't you know. That the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That the unrighteous mm -hmm. shall not inherit. Inherit the kingdom of God. Shall not go back with the Lord. Be not deceived. Don't you be tricked. Neither fornicators. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Let them come tell you once saved, always saved. Don't be tricked. Be, that's right. If they tell you right here is heaven, don't believe a word of it. Don't that's, be tricked. That's, that's right. right. If they right. tell you you can have your heaven right here, that's a lie. That's a lie. Don't be tricked. Be not deceived. Glory to God. God warns us. That's right. Don't be deceived. Neither fornicators. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, idolaters, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor, nor effeminate, nor effeminate, feminine. Now, effeminate comes in different categories. Right. A man who's not gay mm -hmm. can have effeminate tendencies because he may have been raised by his mother. That's right. right. Or he was around women more than he was around men. That's true. So therefore, the feminine character of the woman rubbed off on him because he had more exposure to that character than a masculine character. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. And yet he's straight as an arrow. That's true. Wonderful. Are you listening? That's right. Then you have the feminine, well, men that love men. <laughs> That's right. And you have that kind of, they love, they love men. And yeah. then you have some men that love men who have no feminine character at all. At all. That's true. That's true. They stroll, they got their head on backward. They That's just right. broke back mountain. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. But remember, the Apostle Paul is preaching to the church. To the church. To the church and showing us what those in the church used to be. That's right. A lot of folks don't know what this, they don't even know the scripture even exists. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Tom, I asked another individual to write me when they heard me preach this and say, that's why I don't go to church, because all that is there. That, that's the more reason to come. That's right. Huh? That's right. You mean to tell me you're not going to go to a rehabilitation center? To be helped with your alcohol because right. there's a lot of ex-alcoholics there or alcoholics there that got the same problem. That's right. no reason. That's no reason. You go there to work on yourself. That's right. You go to that drug center to work on yourself. Amen. Right. Come on. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wait, said, right. You mean to tell me, Pastor Jennings, people like that come to church? I oh, thank yeah. God they do. They let me know the gospel is working. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. The gospel. It's not falling in vain. Amen. Oh, we take God is working it's, here. It's working. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. First Corinthians 6 and verse when 9. I go to an area and the bloods and the crypts come in. Yeah. And go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. I remember I was in Sacramento, California. Yeah. Auditorium was packed. There was a Sunni Muslim there. Had on his whole Muslim clothes. Including the kufi. 
Yeah. When I asked you want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, before I even got the words out of my mouth, he was the first one to jump up in the auditorium. Yeah. Went down in water in his Muslim gear. Yeah. Amen. Came to me at the service. He said, I've been waiting on you for a whole year. <laughs> he said, I've been waiting on you for a whole year. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. It's not falling in vain here. No. Oh, no. Glory to God. It's not Pastor Jennings that's drawing you. God is drawing you. That's right. Jesus said it can't be done unless my father or elects the spirit of God draw you. Draw him. Eh? That's right. That's that the, whole, the holy word of God have drawing power. That's right. Doesn't matter who you are, your position in no. life. No. You will never be able to outrun God. Oh, no. And as soon as you young and middle-aged and you out here that shooting and murdering and lying and acting like a fool, yeah. you will never be able to outrun God. That's right. To the many athletes that are millionaires that are watching. Yeah. We had NBA players come here. Yes. Yeah. Children knew who they was, got all excited. Yeah. Dad, did you see such and such and such? I said, I just saw someone tall. <laughs> and know who they were. Amen. All I know they was a tall human being. Tall human. But we have NBA players that watch this. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. NFL players watch it. Amen. Hockey players watch it. Sports Amen. athletes watch it. Yes. You wealthy sports athletes. Yeah. You have what is called spiritual advisors. Mm. Yeah. But they don't advise you spiritually. That's right. And the reason why they don't advise you spiritually because you are cutting them that check. And they are scared to tell you anything that will cut into your life. That's right. That's right. Nobody needs a spiritual advisor if he's not going to advise you to things of the Spirit of God. That's right. He just string along. That's it. Like a hole latched to a pimp. That's right. String along. That's right. So you can cut that check. And he will never put you in place for your wrong. No. Let me be your spiritual advisor. I tie Bible into you like a tight girdle on a woman. That's right. Tell you about yourself. Tell you about yourself. Amen. That's right. Tell you put them drugs down. Yeah. Stop acting like a bum. That's oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yes. Tell you, get all them 50 chains from around your neck. That's right. Stop flaunting yourself. That's right. Stop acting like a wealthy ghetto rat. Amen. You got all this money? Why are you still in and out of jail? That's right. A true spiritual advisor will teach you and instruct you and will give you God's path. That's right. If they had stood in my counsel. What? If they had stood in my counsel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What the Holy Ghost said. Jeremiah 23 and 22. I wouldn't care if I was a spiritual advisor to the wealthiest man living. And That's right. every time I advised him, he gave me $5 million an hour. Amen. I'm going to pump Bible on it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's well, right. you keep telling me that. I'm going to cut you loose. That's all right. I got to stand in God's counsel. That's right. In other words, God's counsel to me is bigger than your check. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. And this is why the spiritual advisors for, sport, for uh, sports athletes, yeah. they don't tell none of them the things of God. No. no. Young man come in drunk. Look, man, you're going to threaten your contract. In other words, he's telling you, I got to eat. Yeah. That's right. The spiritual advisor is pleading with you. I got to eat. That's right. If you're a spiritual advisor with, with the Bible, you'll tell him wine is a marker. That's right. Strong drink is Rage, raging. raging. He that is deceived thereby, wise. you're not wise. Not wise. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? Uh, if they had stood in my counsel. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. If they had stood in God's counsel. And had caused uh, my, all people my people to hear my praise words. Praise the name of God of Abraham. That's right. Cause my people to hear my words. My 
words. And that's what the spiritual advisors supposed to do supposed for to all do. you athletes right. is to tell you God's word, that's not it. his opinion, not his idea, and not to patronize your ignorance. That's right. That's right. Not to go along with your mess. No. Because he's scared to say something because you're an authority for check writing. That's what right. would I care? That's right. You're an authority for check writing. That's God right. is an authority for hell sending. That's right. Now, who do you think I'm going to bend to? Amen. Huh? But if they had stood in my council. If they had stood in yeah. my council. And God's counsel. Hallelujah. And have caused my people to hear and have my words. My people to hear my words. That's what got my mouth open so wide and so bold. Oh yes. And not intimidated by anybody about anything. That's right. Because God's counsel. That's right. Is the perfect counsel. Amen. God's counsel. Oh yes. Is the best counsel. That's right. Even you that get offended at this hardcore. In your faith preaching, right. always remember God's counsel, God's counsel is the best counsel. That's right. Yes. Oh, yes. That's right. You may not be up to it. Yeah. You may not feel like doing it. Yeah. But it don't change the fact God's counsel, God's counsel. is the best counsel. That's right. That's right. Regardless to how weak you are right. and what struggles you have, oh, yeah. always accept God's counsel. That's right. Yeah. Are you listening? But if they had stood in my counsel, God say if they had stood in it, in my counsel, God counsel make a man out of you. That's it. God counsel make a woman out of you. That's right. It makes you a man that you never was. That's right. A holy man. That's right. Makes you a woman that you never was. Yeah. A holy woman. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? But if they had stood in my counsel. Hallelujah. 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 Praise this great God. Hallelujah. If they had stood in my counsel. In my counsel. And had caused my people to hear and my words. My people to God. hear my word. My people. That's right. To hear my words. My words. Then they should have turned then them. They should have turned from their evil way. I got to tell the sports athlete. Yeah, that's right. Put your liquor down. That's right. Get all them thirty women out your hotel room. Yes. Go back home to your wife and kids. That's right. Stop making babies at all of these hoochies out here. That's right. That's right. God's counsel. God's counsel. Hallelujah. You are athlete to make money? Take care of your mama. That's right. Stop throwing your money out to these prostitutes. That's right. Fear God. That's it. Repent of your sins. Be Hallelujah. baptized in water. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Carry. Go ahead. Hallelujah. So God can feed with the Holy Ghost. That's right. God counsel. If they had stood in my counsel. I'm telling the football player. Go ahead. Bro. Run long. Go ahead. Run long. Go ahead, brother. I got scripture to throw to you. That's right. I'm telling the basketball player. I, I'm handing it off to you. That's right. God counsel. Go ahead, man. I'm standing there. Go ahead. Like a quarterback. That's right. Acts 238. <laughs> That's right. Acts 24. One Lord. One faith. One baptism. Run for God. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Run. Wonderful, brother. Run, hallelujah. Go ahead. Run, hallelujah. Go ahead. Run. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Run, I say. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say? But if they had stood in my counsel. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Yes. Go ahead, man. If they had stood in my counsel. In God's counsel. And had caused my people to hear my words. You athletes. Wonderful, brother. You need a spiritual, holy, sanctified advisor. Advisor. Where he loved God. That's right. More than he loved your money. That's right. If he loved God more than he loved your money, then your well-being yes. is his interest. That's it. Not your wallet. That's right. Are you getting what? Hallelujah. But if they had stood oh, in my counsel. Good. If they have stood in my counsel. 
and my counsel. And had caused my people to hear my word. Then what? Then they should have turned them. Then they should have turned them. From their evil way. From your evil way. And from the evil of their doing. Let's go back to where we are. Back in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 1. No, you better go back to Isaiah. Back, back to Isaiah. I got to finish up the thoughts. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Chapter and verse, William. Isaiah chapter 55, we're at verse 8. Hallelujah. Thank For you, my thoughts. Everybody all right? Hallelujah. My thoughts are not your thoughts. God talking. God talking. Hallelujah. God don't think like us. No, no. no. His thoughts are perfect. That's right. His thoughts are infallible. That's right. He said, my thoughts. Are not your thoughts. See, you want to be these modern Christians. Modern who just go to church on Sunday or Saturday. That's right. But you don't want to change. No. no, no. Serving God consists of a lifetime That's right. of change. change. And the churches you go to yeah. don't preach change. No, no. So you never have a mind or a heart to change, change. your way. That's right. Let the wicked forsake his way. Do you hear this? In Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 7. Let the wicked. Let the wicked forsake his leave way. Leave off his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And thought. the unrighteous man his thoughts. The way he thinks. And let him return unto the Lord. Wait a minute. Do what? And let him return unto the Lord. You see? Hallelujah. When you athletes had a, if you have a spiritual advisor, he would advise you, you need to come to God. That's right. That's right. You out there living fast, <laughs> making babies everywhere. You have these loose women that come to your hotel just to set you up. That's truth. <laughs> you young fellas are signing these big multi-million dollar contracts. Yeah. And you're nothing but a sugar daddy. That's right. To these loose women out here. That's right. So they don't mind getting pregnant by you. Yeah. Because you're going to cut that check. Oh, yeah. A true spiritual advice. A man of counsel. Uh oh. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter Scripture 32. Scripture says a man of counsel. Of advice. Will be considerate. Hallelujah. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 32 and verse 18. A man. A man of counsel. And that man of counsel must stand in God's counsel. That's right. Will. Will be considerate. He's going to be considerate. But a strange and but proud strange, man. Uh, but a strange and proud and man. And an arrogant man. Is not daunted with fear. He can look at you drowning. That's right. Making babies and getting high. That's right. Your spiritual advisor snorking cocaine at the same <laughs> table with you. That's, that's right. That's true. You tell your spiritual advisor, hey, hey, Rip, listen, uh, I'm going out Friday night. Hmm. Well, my son, you, you have a game. You have uh, a right. practice. I know rep, but, but uh, That's right. I'm going out Friday night. I got a heavy date, man. You know, I got the Hoochie Moo sisters, and I got the Coochie Boo sisters, and I got the Glee sisters. <laughs> That's right. Ugh and Glee, they're twins. <laughs> That's right. And besides telling you, don't do it. Yeah. He'll say, well. Don't overwork yourself. That's what they say. Don't overexhaust yourself. That's right. And uh, uh, I gave you 15 minutes advice, so before you go, cut my check, please. <laughs> He's so happy. He's so happy. He wouldn't care if you drown in your own semen. That's, that's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. The world is going to hell. That's right. God said, who will stand up for me? That's right. Nobody going to stand up for God unless they love him. That's right. And God said, if you love me, yeah. you will keep my commandments. That's right. Are you listening? Now the so you so-called Christian athletes yeah. 
party all the weekend. Oh, yes. And go to some church on Sunday, maybe. Maybe. Or hold hands with your spiritual advisor with the Glee sisters. That's right. Ugg and Glee, the twins. That's right. I got that from Double D, you know. Amen. Hold hands with the hold Glee hands. sisters just to have an imitation prayer. That's true. And then when that athlete die, Damn. he goes to hell. Oh, yes. He get ready for the second resurrection. That's right. Lost. No God, no salvation. Nothing be implemented through that whole phase of being a spiritual advisor to different athletes. That's right. Not one. Not one. Do he tell repent for your wrong. That's right. Not one. Do he tell you need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Yeah. Not one do he tell you need to stop acting like a fool. Oh, yes. His paycheck softens his tongue. That's right. Or make it softer. That's right. Wherein God's power broadens and make the tongue of his messenger bold without fear. Oh, yes. Not manipulated by dollars and cents. That's right. But it is manipulated by the Holy Ghost. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. A man of counsel. A man of counsel. Of counsel. Will be considerate. Will be considerate. But a strange and proud man. Strange and proud man. Is not daunted with fear. He don't have no fear. Even when of himself he hath done without counsel. Because he's walking around with no counsel. Right. In other words, he's not abiding in a counsel of the book of scriptures. Do nothing without advice. So therefore, he will not counsel the multi-millionaire athlete. That's right. He just say a little prayer over you. Tell you, repeat prayer. after me. Our Father, <laughs> which are in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our debts, we forgive our debtors. <laughs> Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. <laughs> Forever. Right. Amen. Check, please. Check, please. <laughs> That's right. That's true. And when you leave out the door, you're like, yo, yo, thank Reb. Yo. And then right. your girls is like, can we go, can we go now? Like, yeah, yeah. All right, Reb, I'll rap to you. I'll rap to you. All right, all right. He <laughs> holding that check. All right. Next session, uh, uh, Sunday at 3 o'clock. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, looking at that check. That's right. <laughs> the spiritual right. advisor is nothing. Nothing. But a whore for the athlete. That's it. Pay him enough money, he'll turn his back on his creator. Presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise. The Holy Ghost said. Presents and gifts. Presents. Amen. And gifts. Blind the eyes of the wise. To all my NFL players and, and NBA players and hockey players and overseas soccer players that watch this program. Amen. What kind of spiritual advisor you have? That's right. Are you no more than a pimp for a so-called reverend? Amen. Who turn his back in a blind eye at your fast, foolish, barbaric, animalistic, untamed life? That's right. That's Are you right. listening? That's right. You make all these babies? Why? Why? Because you feel entitled? That's right. Since when did your money entitle you to rape? Yeah. Oh, yes. Since when did your money oh, yes. entitle you to sodomize? That's right. Since when did your money entitle you to get drunk That's right. and to get high? Amen. Amen. The love of money. That's right. It's the root, root or the all. source or the foundation. Of all evil. Of all evil. Of all evil. Wow, some have covered. I had no things don't work on this. Amen. But I got to move from the Holy Ghost. From the Holy Ghost. Huh? Amen. You see, God gave the truth of God a program that's hitting people yeah. of all walks of life. That's right. That's right. One of the most wealthiest soccer players 
overseas in Europe. His name was Israel. Didn't even know the man exists until he made the paper mm-hmm. for standing up against homosexuals, homosexuality. And the press asked him, well, who is your pastor? He said, Pastor Geno Jennings in America. Amen. So I never knew the man exists. The press reached out to us and gave me a phone interview. As a result of Mr. Israel standing against homosexuality, Mm -hmm. it made headline news all across Europe. What we call soccer here, they call football there. Right. So it made headline news all across social media. They put my name all on the paper. And then the media started looking me up. Mm-hmm. And they went to social media and saw our stand. Right. And one of the questions that the reporters, was a man and a woman, asked me, how do you feel as a result of his stand against homosexuality? He lost. The team fired him. He was the highest paid athlete in soccer in Europe. And they fired him. And they asked me, how do you feel about him being fired? And I told them in my interview, nobody stands for God without paying some kind of price. Right. Nobody. That's right. And he was willing mm. to be fired rather than turn his back Wonderful. on God and keep getting that multi-million dollar contract. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Your so-called Christians athletes, it's time for you to be for God for real. That's right. Repent. Repent of your sins. That's it. Be baptized in the water. Let all these false spiritual advisors that you have who are nothing but shirt tags Mm. lingering around on you, let them go. Let them go. Because he's not going to stand in God's counsel to give you good counsel. No, no. Let's go back to the foundation where we were, Williams, real quick now. Back in Isaiah chapter 55 and at verse 8. No, where we got started at. Real quick, that's the foundation of it. The foundation of a thing is where you got started. Amen. All right. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, we're at verse 3. Listen. But if our gospel be hid. Praise the great name. Amen. If our truth, the truth of the gospel. Be hid. The message that Jesus gave his apostles, who was God manifested in the flesh. That's right. If you can't see it, if it's hid from you, it is hid to them. That are lost. Who it be to God. God that are lost. In whom the God of this world. Who? In whom the God of this world. What did God do? Hath blood. Blind. The, the minds the of The minds them. of them. Which believe not. You see, your mind is blinded. So your that's why blind. you don't even think of it. That's true. You don't even give the mind, the mental thought towards it like you should. That's right. What did he say, son? In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of...
them which believe not. Yes. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is. The image of God. See, when the Bible talk about Christ was God's image, it was talking about that fleshy body that was called the Son of God. That's right. The fleshy body that was called the Son of God was God's image, God's shape, God form, God fashion, and God's figure. And then God got in that figure and took that figure on and, the, and he redeemed us back to him through that form. That's right. Uh -huh. That's the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Because uh, it was through the image that the glorious gospel was preached. Who is the image of God? You see that? That's Lest right. the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God should do what? Should shine unto them. The spirit of God shined its message through that image. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. And for we preach not ourselves. What? For we preach not ourselves. We're not doing this on our own. But Christ Jesus the Lord. Christ Jesus the Lord. And, and I, ourselves, your, your servants. For Jesus' sake. What happened with him? For God who commanded the God. light. Amen. God. That's what that's what God. giving this thing such a boost. That's, yeah. that's it. God, I say, I God, say, God, God who commanded the light who to shine out of darkness, who ordered, that's it. who instructed, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness. He commanded His wisdom to shine through ignorance. Th that's right. That's right. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His wisdom shines through all the ignorance. <laughs> that's right. It makes ignorance back up. That's right. Make ignorance separate. Why? Light of the gospel come through. That's right. Shining. Hallelujah. Oh, it take God that shines bright. For God who commanded the light. He commanded. Amen. Well, Amen. he commanded his word to be preached. He was mm. giving light charge. <laughs> that's right. Get on out there and shine. <laughs> that's right. Sorry, I, that's why we don't sing the song, This Little, little light, light of Mine. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Insult, no. insult, insult, insult. That's right. That's right. This ain't no little light. Oh, Jesus no. Jesus said, I am the light. That's right. Eh? That's right. Not no little light. No way. John said, I'm not that light. Oh, no. But I come to bear witness of the light, of the not light. the little light. No, no. This Hallelujah. little light of mine. Hallelujah. I'm going to let it shine. That's why nobody can see that you're walking with God because your light so little. <laughs> so little. So little till you can't see it at all. That's right. Mm -hmm. For God who commanded the light to shine out of Praise darkness. Praise the name of God. God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness. Where did it hit us? Had shined in our hearts. Where did it hit us? In our hearts. That's the thing that needs to be broken. That's right. Brothers and sisters and you that are here, God want to break your heart. That's it. Let God break your heart because it's stubborn. That's right. You got a stubborn heart. You got a rebellious heart. heart. You got a wicked heart. The oh, Bible yes. says the heart is the most deceitful thing and desperately wicked. That's right. That's why you need the Lord to step in and break your heart. That's and right. when God break your heart, he'll start detaching your heart yes. from those things that you love. That's right. And then he'll reconnect your heart to the things that you need, which is him. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? For God who commanded the light to shine out of God darkness. God who commanded the light to shine. Out of darkness. Out of darkness. Has shined in our hearts. Has shined in our emotions. That's right. Are you listening to me? Go ways? ahead, man. <laughs> Go ahead. God have to come shine in your mm. emotions. Go ahead. Because we are emotionally tied to things that he don't want us to be tied to. That's right. And the light, remember, the light of God is the word of God, and the word of God also is a sword. Right. That's right. So the sharpness of the light comes to sever the emotions of the heart so he can disconnect us from what we're tied to. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. You in love with that woman, that's your second wife, light of the gospel come. Oh, yeah. Start working on your heart. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you love that joint. You love that liquor. You love those cigarettes. Yeah. You love that party. That's right. Party. That's right. You can be standing out there tired from work. Just did a 16-hour shift. Yeah. Tired, can't hardly stand up with your eyes open waiting for the bus. But the moment a car drive up, bouncing the radio, I don't care how tired you are leaning against the wall, <laughs> once that car come up, you wake up. That's right. Then when that car drive back off. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. 
The Holy Ghost says what? For God who commanded the light to shine out God of darkness. God who ordered the light to shine out of darkness. Out of darkness, who ordered his wisdom yeah. to be present. That's right. In the midst of ignorance. That's right. Uh -huh. Hath shined in our hearts. Shined in our hearts to, to give us. To give the light of the, the knowledge light of the glory of God. Of the knowledge of the glory of God or the, the greatness of God. In the face of Jesus Christ. That's how he done it. That's right. Mm. He made a body. Then that body took on the name of the spirit that was in it. Right. That's why he said, I come in my father's name. That's right. His glory shines shine. through that body. His name shines through that body. His presence and power shine right. through that body. His wisdom shines through there. Go and ahead. he brought, he drew them all to him. That's right. In other words, the body was bait <laughs> for creation to come to. That's right. That's why the bodies come along and say, ain't no man come to the Father except by me. <laughs> That's right. I'm the door. That's right. If you want to get to the spirit, you got to accept what I do first. Hallelujah. Man. Hallelujah. What is it, son? To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God to in the face what? of to Jesus do what? Christ. To, to do give what? To give the light. To give, give the, light. the light. To give the light. That's it. Uh -huh. To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Why? But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Here it is. Hallelujah. Yes, treasure. You have, you have to lease. You got millions in the bank. <laughs> You're signing contracts, you get bonus for bonus, signing bonuses. That's right. But yet you don't have no treasure. It's treasure, treasure. You have what you got can perish. That's right. <laughs> That's right. But this treasure right here. This treasure. When heaven and earth pass away. Yeah. This paper will burn up. Oh yes. But the word won't. That's right. Are you get me? That's right. When heaven and earth pass away. Pass away. This physical book yeah. is going to burn up. Oh, yes. But the word won't. The word won't. Someone say, well, how is that, Pastor Jennings? The Bible uh, said God's word is forever settled. Settled in heaven. In heaven. In heaven. Flames can't touch it. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, why can't flames touch it? Because God is the word. Is the word. In Genesis 1 and 1, and Plato says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. The word was God. was God. God is the word. That's right. That means he's a God of his word. Oh, yes. God's word is God's speech. That's it. All right. But we have this treasure in earthly vessels. And earthly vessels. That the, that excellency, the excellency of the power, of the power may, be of God may be of God and not of us. That's why we don't glory in ourselves. Mm. The excellency of the power is all in God. All in God. And not in us. Not all right, us. you that are here. It's time for you to get on God's side now. That's You've right. watched us faithfully over social media, on television, on your phone, in your car, at the job, behind your desk. Tractor trailers, watch us by the thousands. <laughs> I get thousands of letters from tractor trailers just, just writing, Wonderful. writing. I was in Texas one day, and there was a motorcycle gathering. And uh, men from different motorcycle clubs, leather jackets and all the leather pants over their jeans and whatnot and the different club names on their back. So I was getting out the car, about to go in, and some of the motorcycle fellas said, Yo! I look. Hey, you Gino Jennings? All, all covered in leather. I said, yeah. That's right. I said, how did you know? These are motorcycle clubs. They said, we watch you. They came up and shook my hand. I, I, I wasn't like a lot of these, you know, they get so holy. Oh, praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. I didn't do that. That's yeah. right. They was like, yo, Gino, what's up? I was like, what's happening? I'm saying everything is everything. It was like, man, we didn't know you was in town. If we would have known you was in town, we would have been there. Yes, I said, now you know. Come on in. Come on. Come on in. Wonderful. Motorcycle club watching it. Yeah. Wonderful. We was coming, I was coming home from church one night and uh, a few years ago in the summer. And I came down Lansdowne Avenue and uh, there was an ice cream store. They had a big screen outside. And I thought the people were just gathering because they like ice cream. <laughs> Big old screen outside. They was all standing out there licking, watching the Truth of God broadcast. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Black, white, Asian, Hispanic, short, tall, fat, skinny, everything. Wonderful. Ice cream running down the hand, looking, shaking their head. <laughs> 
Glory to God. We got something good for you to lick and eat. Oh, yeah. The Bible says, taste the Lord. Yeah. Taste good. Yeah. Give me Acts 2, 38, William. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. All right, son. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Then Peter, the apostle of the Lord and Savior. Amen. Said to the people. Repent. You see, God wants you to repent. You out of here. God want to God want to get you off the streets. Oh, yeah. You need God in your life because your life is a mess and you know it is. Let's go. It's a mess. You need God in your life. Pastor Jennings, I know what you're saying is right, but it's hard. I agree it's hard. Oh, yes. But notice you never have to debate or think over or negotiate within yourself to do wicked. That's right. You're going to do it gladly. That's right. Your friend call you, yo, Cynthia, is this you, shorty? Yeah, you going through that jam? You going through that jam, that party house? Yeah, I, was, I wasn't going. I had a long, come on, come on, come on, Cynthia, let's go. All right, shorty, but I ain't got no way. I'll pick you up. <laughs> shorty, slim, fat, block, leave it to beaver and hoof feet. <laughs> All of them come. That's right. Blast and radio coming up, just coming up the street. Yeah. And all of them in the car, just leaning from one eight to the other, to the music. Yeah. Yeah. You go tired. Oh, yeah. The next thing you know, somebody slips something in your drink. Yeah. 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 You don't remember nothing. Oh, yeah. The very ones that picked you up who you thought was friends. That's ran right. a train on you. That's right. Yeah. And they say I shouldn't say these things. No. I ain't paying you no mind. No. This is real life real. preaching here. That's right. Your very friends yeah. you smoke with, get high with. Yes. Set you up. Yeah. The friend you had sex with, you thought he or she loved you. Yeah. And they had sex with you. First, they bet it yeah. amongst the other friends. Thousand yeah. dollars a head. That's right. They all got together. Right. Hey, yo, man, you see that? Ooh, yeah, you know, you know how? Yeah, man. Listen, I bet you thousand dollars I tapped that before you do. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right, kid. That's right. A thousand dollars? Oh, oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. And next thing you know, about three guys is nice to you. Mm. Racing to your womb. Yeah. Mm. That's right. Racing to your womb. Racing to it. And the one, first one tag, you it. That's right. Yeah. Then he collect his money. Yeah. In other words, you became nothing but a wager. Mm. I hope you young hell bound Preach. wild things hear the old troublemaker. Preach it. I'm laboring to shake some sense into your CVS head. That's right. Trying to shake some sense in your wall green head of hair. Amen. Trying to shake some sense into your dollar store fingernails. Yeah. Go ahead. You know, for most men, you're nothing but a wager. That's it. That's right. Use a wound bet. Mm. Wow. My Lord, my Lord. Some go as far as betting who can the first one get you pregnant. That's right. This is how low and hell how deserving low. society is. That's right. So when the Bible says in Acts 2, 38, what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. 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 That's it. Repent. God wants you to feel some conviction. Oh, yes. Oh, Be sorry. Be sorry. Uh -huh. Because you're wicked. That's right. And he said, let the wicked forsake his way. That's why they want me off the air. Oh, yes. They want you off, Pastor. Because the devil ministers are on one accord. That's right. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Devil ministers on one accord. Got their own wicked song. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Don't expose the wicked. <laughs> That's their song. <laughs> Don't expose the wicked. That's right. It'll make them see us. <laughs> Don't expose the wicked. That's right. 
It will make them fuss. Amen. If they see what we are, we won't have a car. Don't expose the wicked. They will see us. That's right. That's right. That's the false prophet song. That's the false prophet. Remember that. Amen. Don't expose the wicked. Don't That's where the preachers are. The preachers will not preach against your sin because it's too many of you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Too many of you. Amen. Giving millions and millions, millions and millions dollars. and millions of dollars just to go to hell broke. That's right. Don't you know the word of God is supposed to be preached to help your family? That's right. Help raise your children right. Oh, yes. Bring structure in a fallen home. That's right. Put a board in the back of these men. Amen. Keep these men out of prison. Yeah. Get these women off the street. That's right. Hallelujah. That's what the word of God does. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wonderful. No, they go to these motivi motivational crooks. Amen. Because... He or she motivate them to remain a sinner. Remain, that's right. And then when they look at this message, they say, you see that? They don't take all that. They take every, and all we gave you was Bible. Was the word. That's all we gave you was Bible. That's it. In the word of God. That's right. I have a hiding place that's, right there. That's right. Then Peter said to them. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. Be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. To get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Many Ghost. Many get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. They get the right baptism and then they leave church and never come again. Go right back out there in the street right. or go back to your false religion. Do you not know you still will go to hell still like you go. never was baptized at all? That's right. You can't come obey God, then turn your back on him and think you won't suffer a penalty for it. That's right. And then you want God to stay with you and you won't stay with him? Yes. You leave God, God going to leave you. That's right. That once saved, always saved is trash religion. And the spirit of God came upon yeah. Azariah. I said that once saved, always saved is a religious trash teaching. Yes, it it's is. It's deception. That's right. There is no such thing as once saved, always saved. Once saved, always saved. You leave God? Yeah. God going to leave you. That's right. Let me give you a Bible for it. Second Chronicles chapter 15, we'll start at verse 1. Second Chronicles, the 15th chapter. We're starting at verse 1. Begin at verse 1. And the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, the son of Oded. Yes. And he went out to meet Asa and said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa, and Hear all Judah, me, and Asa Benjamin. Asa, and all Judah. And Benjamin. What did he say? The Lord is with you. The ye. Lord. Look at the terms. Amen. Give chapter and verse again. Second Chronicles chapter 15. Now we're at verse 2. The Lord is with you. While ye. While. While ye be While. Prepared. While. The Lord is with you. While. During the time. Ye be with him. You're with him. And. And if you seek him, if you seek him, he will be found of you. He'll let you find him. But what, 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 what? Uh -oh. But if you forsake you him, him, amen. When you forsake a thing, you leave it. That's right. If you leave him, he will forsake you. He's leaving you. Oh, yes. Well, Pastor Jennings, I got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And I went back out there doing wrong. Amen. I don't feel as though it's right for me to come to church. That's where the devil make a fool out of you. That's right. Why you don't say that when you go to a party? Yeah. Well, I went to a party, I got drunk. I don't feel like it's right for me to go back next week. <laughs> Amen. Why you don't say that? No. You don't, even, you don't even say that after you get burnt. That's true. I had sex with her. Oh, man, I got burnt with syphilis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you'll go right back with somebody else on Saturday and get chlamydia. <laughs> That's right. That's true. That's you true. get sis and the clap. That's right. Amen. You're going to get sipped from one, the clap from the other, Mr. Herbie from the other, HIV from the other, and AIDS from the other. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Just collecting your uh, various offerings. <laughs> Amen. 
But yet when you repent of your sins and get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. you don't want to stay with God. No. So you use your sins as an excuse for staying out there. Uh-uh. That's, right. That's true. You don't stay with God. That's right. God not going to stay with you. That's right. If, 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 if I do wrong after I baptize, what should I do? You got to repent. You ain't got to be baptized again. No. Because if you be baptized again, you know how you stay in water too long, you get wrinkled? Yeah. If you got baptized every time you sin, I live in water. Yes, you would. My wife got to bring me a slide, me a tray of food. <laughs> right, right in the baptismal room. That's right. Because by the time you change clothes, before that day is over, you're going to be driving right back. Yes, you will. You'll be Aquaman, Pastor. I'll be Aquaman. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's be Aquaman or Marine or Boy. Marine Boy. <laughs> After you repent of no, your sins really, yeah. and are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and you sin after that, God just wants you to come back to him and truly repent for those yes. sins. That's it. Always. Once you repent of your sins and you are baptized, don't ever allow that repentant heart to leave. That's right. Never in your lifetime. Yeah. Because you're going to find yourself repenting much. Oh, yes. For many things you think, many things you want to do, the intents of your heart, God knows. God knows. Them. The very intents of your heart. That's right. Anybody here want to get right who's scared to go to hell and burn throughout eternity? Hallelujah. Anybody want to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ the right way? Stand on your feet if you want it. Wonderful. Glory to God. Wonderful. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, follow that brother right there. All of you sisters, come on to the front. All of you sisters and brothers, come on around to the front. Don't you see? Don't you see? Glory to God. He said, I'll make you fishes of men. Hallelujah. Didn't you say so? Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, you'll catch men. So it's beautiful to see the men and women. That's right. Constantly. This is going on all around the world. That's right. In the truth of God. Doesn't matter what country. That's right. Doesn't matter what city. Doesn't matter what state. Amen. The people are hearing the message hearing it. and running to the churches all around the world. Yeah. I want to be baptized. I want to be baptized. I want to be baptized. Wonderful. One man wrote me and said, Pastor Jennings, I want to be baptized. Can I baptize myself? I had to tell him no. No. Another man wrote me and said, He want to be baptized. When I asked, Want to be baptized? Stand on your feet. He said he stood up in his house. He stood up in his house and he went to his bathroom and filled his tub up. And he said he got in it and covered himself. <laughs> Wrote me and told me about it. I had to call him. To call him. I said, no, brother, somebody got to baptize you. You can't baptize yourself. That's right. He said, well, Pastor Jennings, I don't mean no, uh, uh, no disrespect, but where's that at in the Bible? Because you told me you got to have Bible for it. Right. I said, all right, I'm going to give you Bible where someone got to baptize you. Right. And I got Jesus and John the Jesus Baptist, and, John and the Jesus Baptist. told John, does it become us yeah. to fulfill all righteousness? Us. us. Yes. And then Jesus was the candidate, and John was the one that That's baptized right. him. That's right. I said, uh, what you done didn't fulfill was right. That's right. I said, you, were, you was a floater, a tub floater. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, that goes to show you how bad they want to get right. Oh, yes. Human family, understand this. The truth of God's message is a gift. Yes, it is. It's a gift to you from God. That's what it is. That's right. This is why out of all the men in the world, you'll find so many yeah. taking little messages and targeting the truth of God. Pastor Gino Jen is this. Pastor Gino Jen is that. Out of all these preachers in the world, <laughs> they always attack the truth because the truth is a tsunami. That's right. Amen, amen. When these old little gnats out here, it's like a gnat standing before an elephant to fight them. That's right. And the elephant sucked them up. And the gnat's still out there waiting on them. <laughs> and the gnat is up in his trunk and don't even realize it. Amen. All right, world. To all my brothers and sisters again throughout Europe, thank you for your understanding. God willing, we'll make plans to visit you in the fall. To all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ, around the world, and to all guests and visitors, remember, prepare yourself now, because the hotel buildings are disappearing in Greensboro. 
They're coming under the blanket of the truth of God. I mean, thousands are just Wonderful. pouring in there, Wonderful. making their reservations for July 14th through the 17th. Be there, all you athletes, NBA players, football players, basketball players, soccer players, hockey players, boxers, martial artists. You come on here. Come on, come on. I got a martial arts stand. Don't worry. I, I listen. I got. I, 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 I got. I got a stone <laughs> here that you can hit, and it'll never break. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on, so I can hip toss you with scripture. Go ahead, man. Amen. Amen. This is the greater thing. This will outlast creation. Oh, yes. And this is why God makes me preach it like we do, to bring all humanity to check the reality of life. That's right. Heaven and earth will pass away. God's word will not pass. May God keep you. May God preserve you. May God be with you. Come on back at 5 o'clock. Come back at 5 o'clock. Let us all stand. Elder Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you and praise you once again for this day. We thank you, Father God, for blessing us to hear the message, the words of truth. My God, now bless us not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers of thine word. Remember those, my God, that desire to go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless and help them that they may also receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. My God, remember every soul that's here today. Father God, we thank you so much for your goodness and kindness and mercy that you show upon us day after day and night after night. Bless us, my God, as we come back to the next service and no hurt, harm, or danger would fall upon us. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.